Hello, Lehigh Carbon Community College. Welcome to more suggestions for summer success. This is batch number two. My name is Michael. I'm a learning specialist here at the college. And as a learning specialist, I help students with test taking skills, test anxiety, how to take notes better, how to organize their time, how to stay organized, and how to do a bunch of other things to help them be successful while they're here in college. Right. So about this series, in this series, we kind of give some ideas and some resources to help you have a successful summer here at Lehigh Carbon Community College. Special shout out to my friend Callie Clayton, who is the director of FYE, who helps promotes this video series. Thank you, Callie. OK, so here's a quick agenda. We're going to just start with a quick review. A bit of self-care. We're going to talk about studying, what that means. And we're going to talk about backwards planning and scripting for success. So those are four big things we'll be talking about today. But first, let's start with a quick review. OK, first of all, now this is all in our first video, batch number one. So if you want more details on this, watch batch number one. It's in the playlist. But just a quick review. Remember, summers are scrunchy, 15 weeks and 10 or 5, right? Cognitive low theory, we only can handle so much in our brain at once, and we need to kind of relax a little bit. We have the forgetting curve, which pretty much states that we need to review something th four times to at least recall it around 90% of the time. Right, we have the planning fallacy that states that as human beings we are just bad at planning things out. And we also talked about calendars and planners and also creating routines to help you be success successful. All right, so let's move on to some new but connected content. So self-care. Self-care is tied to cognitive load theory, right? Now self-care is giving yourself some TLC, tender loving care, so you can be your best self. So key things to include getting rest, eating well, exercising, taking some downtime, preparing for classes and tests, right? Not ignoring them, preparing them, right? That's going to help you feel better about yourself, right? But also the other thing I tell students, like sometimes over to some of you have these long class sessions, be mindful of what you're doing during your breaks during class. Like sometimes I take a 10 minute break, 15 minute break. And what do you want to do is rest your brain during that time. Cognitive load theory states that you can only handle so much in your brain at one time. And if you're taking a break during class and you're putting in more information, you're not resting your brain here. You're, you're actually going to strain your brain. So when you come back to class, you're going to have a harder time focusing, right? So just taking care of yourself a little bit is important to managing your cognitive load, and managing cognitive load is key to your success here at college. Okay, so forgetting curve, cognitive load theory, and the idea of studying. Let's slap those three ideas together, right? So very often we'll say, I got to go study. Mm. Yeah, you got to go study. But what does that really mean? When we talk about studying, it's actually, we mean different things, right? Number one is think about, are you studying? And if you're thinking about, are you learning it for the first time, right? This is your first exposure to it, right? So that is a form of study, but it's more like learning it, trying to understand it, right? Now, this is very often what you do when you're prepping for class, like reading the book before a lecture, reviewing PowerPoints before a lecture, right? You're kind of learning it for the first time. Then we have studying it, which is actually helping get the material in your long-term memory. So you can have it in that deeper long-term memory so you're able to pull it forward as you need to, right? This is deep learning periods. It's where you really have to understand the material, right? Then you also have reviewing it, right? This is being able to recall it from your long-term memory into your working memory. And very often we do this for tests, right? We want to review it. So my point of saying, you know, I got to go study is this. Well, you can say those terms, right? Say the idea that you got to go study. You really want to think about, are you learning it for the first time, studying it, or reviewing it? And those are all three distinct different approaches to studying the material. Okay, planning fallacy. Remember we talked about last time, but human beings are bad at planning. And one of the strategies we can do to this is this idea called backwards planning, right? And what you do when you, you plan backwards when you do, when you plan backwards, you can move forward effectively and efficiently, right? So what you start with is when the assignments do, and you work backwards and break down each step that you need to do to complete this assignment, right? You say, okay, I got to do this, got to do this, got to do this, got to do this, backwards, right? So for example here, so you have one week to do a four to six page paper. It's due June 5th. Well, you got to submit it on June 5th, right? You got to do a final edit the day before. An edit on June on, on June 3rd, final revision on June 2nd, or revising a revision of the paper on June 1st, you got to draft the paper on the 31st, but also spend more time drafting your first real draft on the 30th, 
and you got to brainstorm the paper and you got to review the assignment on the 29th. So we kind of break down all the steps here that you have to do, right? Now, when we flip this, we kind of get this schedule, right? When we flip this, we get this schedule and kind of breaks things down. Now, we, one of the things we do when we backwards plan, right, the benefits, it forces us to slow down, right? And when we slow down, we can go to key steps that we might assume we're just skip over. You might assume that you, oh, yeah, I forgot. I didn't schedule time for editing. I didn't schedule time to revise it. Oh, I didn't scan it a couple days to draft it out, right? You know, but also gives you the ability to create some forward plans with some action steps. But also gives you time to check for, for check-ins and feed faculty feedback, right? When you spread stuff out like this, too. And it spreads work out work out that you really can't do the last minute you really can't write a four to six page paper well the last minute like the two day like a day before right to do it really well and be your best writer and be your best self you're gonna have to spread that out and backwards planning helps you do that right there's lots of other benefits to it but you know that's how you kind of do it it's a good strategy to use to fight the planning fallacy all right so planners we talked about those last time a little bit but they can be really good in scripting your actions planning pages can you can script your actions and scripting forces you to commit time to doing something right it can help you focus it can help you it works great with backwards planning my my plan my, my philosophy right uh helps you break down action based things right you know it helps you go make things action based right um works great for those success routines so you kind of get your weekly routines down right because remember that success routine that you're trying to do over the summer is that your course needs to be at the center of your success routine right you're taking these courses they're scrunchy you got a lot you don't have a lot of time with them right so you're going to have to be very successful very often okay now a key thing i can tell students here too when it comes to scripting is use verbs so you know exactly what action you need to be taking but so you might say june like june 3rd edit paper 3 3 p.m to 5 p.m just put that on your planner this is the time you're going to commit to do that thing okay thanks for joining us for suggestions for summer success my name is mike i'm a learning specialist you can reach out to here at, reach out to me or any of my fellow learning specialist colleagues in educational support services um batch three is coming up looking forward to talking to you again soon and uh, enjoy hope you have a great summer hey 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 Hey, hey. Hey.